Fred and Ted are running around a circular track. The track has a radius of 60 meters. Fred starts from the westernmost point of the track and runs clockwise. Ted starts at the same time from the southernmost point of the track and runs counterclockwise. Fred runs at a constant speed of 9 meters per second and passes Ted for the first time after 15 seconds. What is Ted's speed in meters per second? The first thing I'm going to do is sketch out a picture of this situation. It says the track has a radius of 60 meters, so I've labeled that as 60. And it says Fred starts from the westernmost point of the track and runs clockwise. So I'm going to make a little dot for Fred, and he's starting from the westernmost point of the track, and he's running clockwise. Now, once you're given where someone starts, that is their theta naught. Theta naught is the starting angle or the distance, typically in radians, from here, which is the start, to wherever they're starting. So Fred's theta naught in this case is pi radians or 180 degrees, but we typically work in radians for these types of problems. Um, okay, and then it says Ted starts from the starts at the same time from the southernmost point of the track. So if Ted is starting here, and he runs counterclockwise. So he's running that way. So Ted's theta naught. So this should be labeled theta naught of Fred. This is theta naught of Ted. Ted's theta naught. I had to go three pi over two radians to get from this starting point all the way around to where Ted started. So that means that Ted's theta naught is 3 pi over 2 radians. Fred runs at a constant speed of 9 meters per second. That is a linear speed. Linear speed does not involve radians or revolutions. It gives the speed to you in things like meters, centimeters, inches, feet, etc. So I know that Fred's linear speed is 9 meters per second. And it says he passes Ted for the first time after 15 seconds. So that must mean that when T is equal to 15, when T equals 15 seconds, the distance that Fred traveled, or theta of Fred, plus the distance that Ted traveled, or theta of Ted, is equal to 3 pi over 2. Because if we look at the picture, let's say that this person went this far and they got from here to here, and this person went this far, they got from here to here. That's when they're meeting in 15 seconds. So this distance plus this distance must be equal to 3 pi over 2 radians. It's 3 fourths of the circle, or 3 pi over 2 radians. So now because I'm just talking about their distance, I can use the formula theta is equal to omega t. Now I don't know what Ted's omega is, but I can figure out what Fred's omega is because I have um, Fred's linear speed. So I'm going to take his linear speed, which is 9 meters per second. And I'm going to try to get that into radians per second. So I'm given that the radius of the track is equal to 60 meters. That must mean that the circumference of the track is equal to 2 times pi times 60 meters or 120 pi meters. So that means that 2 pi radians or one, one full circle, one full revolution over, around the circle is equal to 120 pi meters. And that's how I'm going to cancel out the meters here. So now I'm now I'm dealing with radians per second. So cancel out the pi and then I have 18 over 120. That is 0.15. So 0.15 radians per second is Fred's angular speed. So I took Fred's linear speed, multiplied it by a conversion factor to get it into radians instead of meters, and now I have Fred's angular speed is 0.15 radians per second. Now, um, since you can get from angular speed to linear speed and from linear speed to angular speed pretty easily, 
And what I'm looking for is Ted's speed in meters per second. So this is asking for Ted's linear speed. What I'm able to do is plug in WT for theta in this equation. So I have W of Fred times T plus W of Ted times T equals three pi over two. I have Fred's angular speed and I have the time. That means that the only variable left is going to be Ted's angular speed. And that's, that's okay because that's what we're going to ultimately solve for. So Fred's angular speed, I just calculated that to be 0.15 radians per second times 15 seconds, that's times T, plus W of Ted or Ted's omega, Ted's angular speed times 15 equals three pi over two. And now all that I have to do is a little bit of calculator work to figure out what that actually is. 0.15 times 15. Now it's important that you switch your calculator into radians when you're doing problems like this. So if you have a calculator that's like mine, you just click the degree symbol and then go into radians. So now I'm getting Ted's omega equals 0.164159. And since this is not my final calculation, I'm gonna hang on to as many decimals as possible. So this is, for Ted, this is how many radians per second Ted is traveling around the circle. Now I'm super close to what it's actually asking. It's asking what his speed is in meters per second. I have his speed in radians per second. So I'm gonna make that conversion. I'm going to come over here and do 0.164159 radians in one second times. And then again, I know the circumference of the circle is 120 pi meters. So times 120 pi meters in two pi radians. Cancel out the radians, cancel out the pi, and do a little bit of calculator work. Times 120 divided by two. I get that that Ted's linear speed is equal to 9.849555, etc., um, which I'm going to round to 9.850 meters per second. That is Ted's linear speed. Now for part B, after running for 200 seconds, who is farther north, Fred or Ted? In this situation, since we are looking for their, their specific locations at a specific point in time, we're gonna to have to use the formula for the coordinates. So coordinates, when you're running around a circle and dealing with a situation like this, x coordinate is r cosine omega t plus theta naught. Radius times sine omega t plus theta naught. This is the x-coordinate, this is the y-coordinate. Um, so I'm first gonna find Fred's coordinates after 200 seconds. So since all of my things are already in seconds, like I have meters per second, radians per second, I can just plug that 200 directly in. So the radius I know is 60 meters. So 60, hang on, I'm just gonna label this that it is Fred's. 60 cosine Omega of Fred is equal to 0.15 times 200 plus Fred's theta naught. So if I look back up here, Fred's theta naught was pi. And then the thing to be very careful of whenever you are plugging things into coordinates, if the person runs clockwise, their omega is going to be negative. So Fred let's see, it says Fred runs clockwise up here. So that means that his omega or his angular speed has to be negative, so it's negative 0.15. That is his X coordinate. <laughs> now I'm gonna plug that into the calculator and figure out what that, what that actually is. Um, again, make sure that your, your calculator's in radians. And 
I'm getting that his coordinate is negative 9.255. That's his x coordinate. Now I'm gonna do the y coordinate. So r sine omega t plus theta naught, 60 sine negative 0.15 times 200 plus, not theta naught, we know what theta naught is, and it's pi. And then plug that into the calculator. And I get that to be negative 59.282. Those are Fred's coordinates. So now I need to find Ted's coordinates. Um, I'm gonna go through the same exact process in, except instead of plugging in the information for Fred, I'm gonna plug it in for Ted. Radius is still 60. 60, cosine, and then I'm gonna look for um, Ted's, Ted's omega, or Ted's w, and that is 0.164159 times 200 plus 3 pi over 2. And because he is running counterclockwise, Ted runs counterclockwise, it says um, we don't need to make his omega negative. Same thing for the y coordinate, 60 sine 0.164159 times 200 plus 3 pi over 2. And now I plug it into the calculator. I'm getting that his x coordinate is 59.281 and his y coordinate is 9258. So the question is asking after running for 200 seconds, so when their coordinates are this, who is farther north, Fred or Ted? So really all that we need to look at here is the Y coordinate because we're trying to find how, how far up each one is. Um, Fred is all the way down at negative 59.282. Ted is still in the negatives, but he's at negative 9.258. So Ted is the one who is ultimately further north after 200 seconds.